Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Brandon. This is Born Again XJW. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some ex Jehovah's Witness memes. Um, so, first, we have to figure out what a meme is, and then I will put the images up on the screen. I think we're going to be exploring at least 15 today. Um, we're going to have some laughs. We're going to be like, eesh. So, either way, I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am, and let's get right into it. Truly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So to get started, let's go ahead and figure out what is a meme. What is a meme? All right, so we'll, we'll do what any rational person should do, and let's just go ahead and look up the dictionary definition. So a meme is an element of a culture or system of behavior that may be considered to be passed from one individual to another, by non-genetic means, especially imitation. A humorous image, video, piece of text, etc. that is copied, often with slight variations, and spread rapidly by internet users. So, there's our, our backdrop. A meme is basically an image or a text uh, that is passing on some sort of information in a... I mean, they say, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, and um, a meme is that, but also some text to provide context for the image uh, in order to pass an idea on to another person. So let's go ahead and get into meme number one. Okay, so uh, meme number one. Now, I didn't realize before we get into the very first one, even though I just said we would get into it, um, I didn't realize how niche the former Jehovah's Witness community is. Um, it's kind of like a niche within a niche. So even when I showed my my wife who grew up Christian her whole life, um, some of these memes, it was lost on her. Um, so I understand that in some cases I'll have to provide some context. So this very first meme right out of the gate, this is in no particular order. We're just going to address them as I see them. Uh, it's going right for the jugular. So I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen now. Of course it says, when you ask an elder where the child abuse case files went, and then we have the awkward shrugs of Zac Efron here. Um, so again, I didn't realize that I would have to provide um, as much context as I would, but essentially it's not, it's not widespreadly known. I think it's becoming more and more known. Uh, the more former Jehovah's Witnesses there are who come out and speak against the, uh, the policies within the Watchtower of how they handle uh, abuse of any kind. Um, I'm gonna have to censor some of my words. So when it comes to uh, CSA or SA, hopefully you can kind of guess that acronym, they have very, very bad policies that have had to be changed continually over time. Um, and then there's even been some instances in documentaries where people have tried to obtain those records and they have been destroyed or they've been misplaced or, so it's, it's really this meme is like, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit of dark humor. Um, but sometimes you have to you have to have dark humor when it comes to I don't know dealing with trauma or something as serious as this, and that's what this meme is trying to do. So let's go ahead and get into meme number two. Oh goodness, uh, meme number two doesn't get any better. So I'll go ahead and put it on the screen now. It says, "From my sunshine to my shunshine." Very nice uh, play on words there. So of course you've got two parents in the background, you know, their, their arms are crossed and they're kind of standoffish and then you've got, you know, looks like a rebellious teenager uh, sort of crossing her eyes rolling, or <laughs> crossing her arms rolling her eyes. And uh, I, I think what the meme is trying to illustrate is of course the, one of the teachings of the Jehovah's Witnesses is this unscriptural, unbiblical practice of disfellowshipping. Um, not to say that there isn't such a thing as church discipline inside of scripture, there certainly is, uh, but not anything like the way the Watchtower uh, and governing body teaches the rank and file Jehovah's Witnesses to do it. Um, it really, it's very hard to understand how parents can show such un unhuman like emotion when it comes to not even speaking to their own children, not even looking at text messages from them, not receiving phone calls or, um, you know, ignoring them if they happen to see them in the grocery store. There's something very perverse and twisted about it. Um, and one of the worst things about it, I think, is it's, it's teaching people to do it like it's a loving thing. 
um, and convincing them that they're doing it in loyalty to God. Uh, when in fact you can go through scripture and you can actually demonstrate that, well, let me just, let me just say this real quick. You know, um, let's say that someone is, is cast out of the church and you're no longer supposed to call them brother or sister. You would treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Well, what did Jesus do with pagans and tax collectors? He uh, sat with them and he ate with them and he conversed with them. Now, he certainly didn't endorse their sin, but at the same time, he showed them love. He even says, love your enemies. Um, so what is love? Go to 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is long-suffering. So you're not being patient, kind, or long-suffering if you see a person walking towards you and you do everything in your power to not actually make eye contact with that person. That's very strange. It's very inhumane just from a, just like a secular standpoint. But as far as like from a religious standpoint, uh, being a disciple of Christ, it's not showing love. Um, so I think that's the point that this meme is trying to get across. Right, meme number three. <laughs> this one's actually kind of funny. I uh, can't relate to it, but it's funny. So it says, JW parents be like, why can't you just leave quietly? Why do you gotta go all apostate? And then it says me, because you raised me to spread the truth. And then you've got him with this sly smirk on his face. Um, that's pretty funny. And the reason I say I can't relate to it is because uh, fortunately for me, my mother still speaks to me. Um, my dad is gonna be a, situa a different situation, and maybe we'll talk about that in a different video, but some of my family doesn't speak to me anymore. Some of my family still does. And what's interesting is I was never baptized, therefore I couldn't be disfellowshipped. So there's that loophole of like, oh, I can still talk to this family member because you know, we have the loophole of they were never technically one of us, um, even though I was born and raised a Jehovah's Witness. So. Um, but I'm sure, actually, I've, I'm positive that I've heard stories of people who um, discover the truth of Scripture, how the Bible is being misapplied, and their parents will label them apostate, or, you know, other people will go off on, you know, a different path where they go more agnostic, atheist, um, and I completely understand and can sympathize with that. Um, but the, their parents would accuse them of the same thing. Why, you know, why can't you just fade quietly, don't talk about the organization, um, you know, why you gotta go all apostate, right? And then the bottom of the meme, of course, is because you raised me to spread the truth. So the truth that the uh, person who created the meme is talking about is, of course, the truth about the truth, which is um, this organization is not of God. Um, they are not <laughs> led by the Holy Spirit or anything like that. And it's actually a high control group that is clothed in Christian clothing. Uh, and, and they use Christianese, but they don't even use the, the correct terminology in its orthodox context. So uh, that's a totally different video though. So that's meme number three. Let's go ahead and get into number four. Okay, meme number four. When I first looked at this, I was like, eh, this is a little implausible. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, no, no, this is actually pretty accurate. Um, and, and here's why. And again, this is why these are amazing. I mean, again, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Then you just apply some text onto it. And then bam, we got a whole message and it literally took you 12 seconds to read it. That's, that's an effective uh, way to transmit thoughts, ideas, and information. So that's why, I mean, I'm not always particularly a fan of meme culture. Uh, I think it's, it's good to a degree. And then it's, it's missing a lot of stuff, but it is good at conveying quick ideas. So here's meme number four. How can you say you are my friend, then prove that the watchtower is a false prophet? And then we have this... Uh, tidily dressed gentleman and he looks very perturbed that uh, whoever the hypothetical person is is proving that the watchtower is a false prophet is an enemy so uh, again when i first saw it i was like yeah that's kind of unlikely and then i'm thinking to myself no when you start talking to a rank and file jehovah's witness member and again uh, my my purpose of creating the content is not to attack individual rank and file jehovah's witness members because a, I was one, and I stood up vehemently for the teachings of the Watchtower. And B, my family is still in it. And C, if I can add to it, I actually had a fairly good upbringing and experiences within my congregation. Um, I, you know, I liked the elders. I had best friends growing up. I, I didn't suffer any sort of abuse that you will find from some people, um, unfortunately, who have, who have left. Um, and when I say unfortunately, I don't mean 
because they left. I mean, it's unfortunate that they went through that abuse. But the, the whole purpose is to point out the inconsistencies and the misapplication of scripture from the perspective or from the teachings of the governing body members. So that is my goal and to lead people to um, the teachings of Jesus, because I am a Christian. Christian meaning a disciple of Christ. Disciple meaning learner or follower. So I'm trying to, as closely as I can, um, and of course I'm gonna have flaws, I'm trying to, as closely as I can, follow his example and his teachings. Um, so that's my goal, is to point people towards the teachings of Jesus, and then to ultimately point them to how they receive salvation through his sacrifice. How do we get the forgiveness of sins? And then on top of it, how do we have peace with God, not in the future, but actually right now? Um, so yes, there, there might be this situation where you start to wake up, you start to actually understand the truth of scripture, and you start talking to your friends and family members who are in the Jehovah's Witnesses, and they start getting mad at you because this religion is so... Um, integrated into their lifestyle, it actually feels like a piece of their identity. So when you are trying to, I, I guess not poke holes, but when you're trying to bring out inconsistencies in their, in their worldview, they actually view it as a personal attack. When in essence, what you're trying to do is you're trying to reach out to them uh, and reveal to them the, the truth that this is actually a, a high control group and uh, they do not have your best interests in mind. They really are about building up their capital more and more, um, and you're just a, a cog, you know, in the in the gears that run this whole operation. So, yeah, an another win for the memes. So that I think that's meme number four. Okay, so this next meme is potentially meme number five or six, depending on whether or not I included the previous meme that I recorded because it contained some crude humor in there. So I'm deciding on whether or not I'll include it. Uh, so this is potentially meme number five or six. So our counts are going to be all off after this. Um, as far as cleverness goes, this is my favorite one. I think this is the most clever. So we have JWs in 1918, millions now, living will never die. And then JWs in 2018, and it's got the men in black. Um, and what's amazing is this is... I think the reason I think it's so clever is because this device in the movie, if you've never seen it, they hold it up, they put on their glasses, and then there's a huge flash of light. And anyone who's looking at the light will lose a certain period of time, like the last 10 seconds, last 10 minutes, last 10 months of their memory. Um, and the witnesses are all about new light. So what's hilarious about this, I think, is the new light is completely evaporating the old light or old truth of Millions Now Living Will Never Die, which I believe was a book they produced in uh, 1918. So as far as cleverness goes, I really can't add much more to it. Uh, this one is gonna be like a nine out of 10 for me. I love this meme. Okay, potential meme six slash seven because our counts are off. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do 10. I think 10 is a well-rounded number and it's gonna make a great video. I've got so many more of these though, so this is gonna be a mini series. Um, but here we go. Jehovah's Witnesses, we don't celebrate holidays because we're no part of the world. Jehovah's Witnesses on Black Friday, and we have this lady just doing this like awkward saunter out. It's, it's funny, it stings because it's hypocritical. You know, we're, we're not going to, I, I just think the entire no holidays thing, um, the, the false piety in the Jehovah's Witnesses, and even in some, some other Christian um, denominations, again, they, they think that if they, you know, consistently read the scripture and they do this, that, and the third from the Old Testament law, we'll just pick a few that we like that sound kind of cool, um, that that will draw you closer to God. And, you know, I, I think uh, Jesus even said, like, you, you read this, you search the scripture day and night thinking inside of it you have salvation, but your hearts are far from me. So um, hopefully I quoted that right. It, it could have been something in the Old Testament. But with the whole, you know, holiday thing, they always say, well, this is pagan and that's pagan. And there's so many things that Jehovah's Witnesses do that are pagan, um, but they just brush it off as like, well, it's, it's so old that, you know, even though it was pagan at one point in time, they're hypocrites. Guess what? I'm a hypocrite. Guess what? You're a hypocrite. We all 
are hypocrites. And, you know, it's, it's one thing to be able to uh, point it out. But again, the, the meme right now, I'm, I'm starting a conversation because I read this meme and you guys are, you know, seeing the meme with me and, and we're having a whole discussion, well, a monologue, uh, about the concept of it and it's, it's leading us down different trails of thought. So I think the, the memes are effective. Uh, the memes are doing what they do. And, you know, if you look into just, again, the double standards within the Watchtower, it, it really starts to fall apart quite quickly. And when you see that inconsistency, it's, it's hard for me to take you seriously over here uh, when you're blatantly hypocritical over here. Um, so well done, meme. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, uh, again, this one, a little dark, full of truth, um, but it's, okay, let's get into it. So here we go, when you want to become a Jehovah's Witness, when you want to leave the Jehovah's Witnesses. And of course, we've got the two images here of just the, the really tight embrace with the eyes closed and the, you know, you can see almost all the teeth and the smile and the tears running down the cheeks and sorry, the resolution's not that good. And that's, that's what you experience when you first enter the Kingdom Hall. Everyone's real energetic and they, they wanna know about you and what's your name and where do you work and how did you come here? And oh, I hope we see you next time. And it's it's that love bombing. Um, and again, th there's so many groups that are guilty of this. So not every time when you experience love bombing are you being a part of a cult. Just putting that out there. Um, but it's very characteristic of the Jehovah's Witnesses because they tick off many, many of the boxes when it comes to uh, fitting into the bite model, uh, behavior, information, thought, and emotion control. So the love bombing is the top portion of this uh, meme here. It could also be you know something you experience when you get baptized, those embraces and the tears and the happiness. And then of course the bottom image is when you want to leave the Jehovah's Witnesses and it looks like a group of men uh, stoning another man. So it really does feel that way to some people. And I wanna say that this is one of the biggest distinctions between uh, Christianity and the Jehovah's Witnesses because, and you really can put them in different categories. I know some people think it's just Christians having disputes about doctrine. It's not, and I'll do, I'll explain that in a different video, but it's, it's really quite simple is, um, when you're a Christian, you're a disciple of Christ, you're a Christ follower. So he had some teachings and some standards and they're, you know, uh, recorded quite well. So we can objectively look at them and say, okay, how close are you to that? or are you totally different than what, what he's saying? And if that's the case, then you're not being a disciple or a learner or a follower in that sense. You're actually doing something completely different. So you can't call it Christian, you can call it something else, but that behavior is directly opposed to the teaching you're following. Um, so the difference between like Mormonism, Jehovah's Witnesses, Islam, is when you go to leave, you're actually sacrificing something and in some cases it could mean your own safety um, we're not just talking like mental health but we're actually talking physical health especially when it comes to Islam um, but like when you're leaving the, the Mormons or the Jehovah's Witnesses or Scientology they are going to ostracize you and they're going to try their best to basically uh, I, I would say scare you back into the group um, but also they're very very hateful um, and they think that it's a, a tactic that will bring you back in and it works on some people, unfortunately, but for a lot of people, it simply, I guess, uh, solidifies their, their resolve that they want to be out of this group. And so the, the fruit they think it's producing is not actually, um, what it's producing. But again, it's not because they're concerned with people's salvation, but it's more or less about, uh, keeping the numbers the same or increasing the numbers. Uh, this one we're just going to toss in because it's it's cute and it'll be real quick. Uh, it says, should have refrigerated all that spiritual food because now it's all expired. <laughs> Again, I just think it's cute. I think it's clever. Um, all of these books that you see here are books that have been written and published by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. And a lot of them are being uh, thrown into the garbage can, burned, or to, you're told not to look at them anymore uh, because the Jehovah's Witnesses doctrines, the Watchtower doctrines, change so frequently 
that if you were to observe the teachings in these books, uh, you would actually be considered apostate or a heretic uh, according to their new teachings because their, their new light is just getting so much brighter. Um, and they always refer to, you know, who's going to dispense the spiritual food and it's the governing body and they're always talking about their spiritual food and like they're a bunch of spiritual refugees <laughs> just looking for a scrap of meat. Um, but yeah, all this spiritual food, it's, it's expired. Um, I don't know. Again, I just thought it was funny. Okay. Um, I think this might be the last meme and we are going to go out with a bang. So here we go straight for the jugular, but Lord, I'm your biggest fan and I belong to the governing body. Get behind me, you pedophile protector. And we've got Tony Morris here with his arms outstretched and of course, Jesus holding his hand out to him like, get away from me. Um, now, of course, this is actually in reference to uh, a scripture in the Bible, so I'll go ahead and throw that up on the screen. Okay, so the, sub, the subtitle of this, this is actually from the NIV New International Version, but the, the subtitle for this is True and False Disciples. Again, I've already said earlier in the video that disciple just means learner or follower, okay? And there are true and false disciples. So when people say, you know, the, the no true Scotsman fallacy or, you know, I can't, I, it's so weird to me when Christians debate against amongst each other and they're, they're both delusional or whatever. Okay, well, we're just simply talking about being disciples of Christ. So when it comes to this, it says, not everyone who says to me, this is Jesus speaking, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Now I'm gonna read uh, 22 again in a different uh, translation actually. The uh, ESV says, on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? Uh, because the Jehovah's Witnesses believe that it's, it's faith plus works. So it's faith plus, like you have to do something. You have to do many works, religious things in order to earn God's favor. Uh, when we know that we're saved by grace through faith uh, alone, and this is not of ourselves or any of our works, lest any man should boast. It's a free gift of God. Um, and that just comes through, you know, simply reading the Bible, you get that. So it's, I, I love this meme actually, because again, we're talking about the policies that the Watchtower has when it comes to protecting, not children, but actually protecting the organization. And a casualty or a fallout from that is not only are the victims not protected and then the offender runs free and gets to then reoffend and create more victims, but now the, well, that is the casualty, is more victims and the offender is protected because he was never reported. I know that there's been changes to the policies over the years, but it doesn't take a genius and it doesn't take a theologian or a seminary professor to be able to tell you that if a child comes to you and says that they've been abused in some way, the first thing that you should do, you don't call the branch, you don't call another elder, you go to the authorities. Because guess what the authorities are there for? They are there to do their job, which is to investigate, which is to collect you know, uh, DNA samples if necessary, uh, which means we'd have to get the medical field involved there's, you know, maybe resources that they would have of going through people's text messages or emails or there's there's resources that are available to the authorities that are not available to the rank and file Jehovah's Witness elder, who in most cases is not a person who's in law enforcement. Um, I would say almost never. In fact, I would say never. But they don't have access to resources to do investigations. It's not the job of a religious organization to vet out that sort of thing or figure out if someone is guilty of a crime or not. But what the Watchtower does is it takes a very hard stance on protecting itself. They say this phrase, like, we don't want to bring reproach on Jehovah's name. You're not going to re bring reproach on God's name or God's organization by bringing evildoers to justice. In fact, the opposite would be true. If you weeded out all of the evildoers within your organization, 
people would be more inclined to believe that you really are led by God because God is the standard of good and justice. So if you were doing that, it wouldn't bring reproach on his name to point out evildoers when they do evil things. And listen, obviously there's things um, like false accusations, but it's not your job to determine that as a Jehovah's Witness elder. It's the authority's job to determine that. So they love to bash on the Catholic Church for all of the abuse that goes on um, inside of them. It's been like their favorite punching bag for years. But the honest truth is the Catholic Church has taken more efforts to work with law enforcement and actually change their policies in the same sense that so has the Boy Scouts and so has many other organizations. They've been they've been complying with uh, changing laws and they've been complying with saying, okay, we need uh, essentially a reformation in the way that we handle these things. Um, the Jehovah's Witnesses are the only ones who have not, who have dug their heels in, and only when their tax-exempt status was threatened was, I think, any sort of change made in Australia. That's one country. Now, I could be totally wrong on that. Um, I'd have to do some research into it, so just take that as, as hearsay for now. But anyways, that was the last meme. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was interesting. I. I didn't know how it was gonna go. Um, I didn't realize that with a lot of these things, you could make an entire, well, I could. I could make an entire 10 to 15 to 20 minute long video just about some of the subject matter that was in even one of these memes. So again, it's it's doing what memes do and that's, that's quickly disseminating or uh, transmitting different information by using a photo and some text. Um, and it's very popular in the internet culture. I would say I hit a lot of these things kind of briefly, um, and, and maybe if you guys want some more information on any single one of the memes or things I said in the video, you'll have to let me know in the comments section down below. I'm still gonna be looking into whether I'll include that fifth meme actually in the video, um, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, let me know too, because I've got more memes that we can take a look at and discuss really quickly together. Uh, so yeah, it's it's really more like like two questions to you guys. Do you want me to talk about any one of the individual memes that we covered in today's video? Or would you like for me to even do this again, uh, another mini series where we're looking at uh, 10 more popular XJW memes? So anyways, um, I really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. If you would like to support the channel and you like the content, then you could always subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Uh, and then you can always like it. Actually, something sort of new with YouTube is it's it's favoring sharing, apparently. Uh, so if you want to help the channel in that way, sort of spread the message, spread the good news, uh, you could you could share this on some type, some type of social media, Facebook, email, something like that. Okay, uh, I just wanna thank you guys again for watching all the way to the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.